what's up YouTube it's Torhan bringing you another episode of our Feed the Beast let's play and today we're gonna be doing a couple things first we're gonna be doing some we're gonna make ourselves a jetpack an advanced jetpack we're also gonna do some mistcraft um, what I did do here is um, I was reading on the forms for Miss the current version of mistcraft and they took out the link modifier recipe. So if you were to try to make one like this, like you should be able to, it doesn't work. They're lame. So what I've done is because we need to be able to, I want to be able to make books that you can take with you, so I don't have to make 50 million uh, home linking books. I went ahead and brought one in using NEI. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to take the materials I would have spent on it. You know, I'm down to 11 diamonds. Yeah. Because it takes 8 freaking diamond blocks. That's insane. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and destroy the current ones after we place this. Ta-da! So what we're going to do real quick is give me a book and we're going to make it a linking book and then we're going to come over here and we're going to put it in there we're going to call this home and we're going to say we want it to follow us. There. Now we're going to go take a trip to the nether. It's the only place I know of where I have um, lava readily available. Uh oh, I forgot something. That. Not really, I didn't know that he was going to be there. But what I forgot was... Hopefully it's in my bag. Oh, oh, my sorter's stalled. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I just need a lava. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. All right, come on, stop burning. Oh, that could have been bad. Whew. All right, it's not in there either. And they're gonna be trying to kill me now. I didn't even hit the dog on guys. Why are you trying to kill me? Fine. I'll do what I was going to do here. Goodbye. Alright. Those are the materials I would have used to build this. They are now gone. And so are we. So there. I got the linking thing, but I spent the materials for it like I would have anyways. But we need to go over here and fix this because it is currently jammed. Oh, raw beef got in there. How fun. Who knows how much crap I've lost now because that's jammed. Urgh. Yeah, process. I gotta start recycling this cobblestone. I got way too much of it. Alright, does everything else have a home? Everything else should have a home. Yeah, that's full of cobble. Oh wow, that's an extra dimensional one too. Holy cow. That's full of cobble. That's... Oh. Really? Do I have nowhere for cobble to go now? Oh, that could be bad.
Alright, no wonder I'm having problems. Um... La, 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 la. I need... Oh, I also recently, um... What I did is I took my... My world here. And I put it... On a local, um, ah, oh, seriously, I need two more. Uh, I put it on a local server on my network. That way I can kind of leave mining cores and stuff running all the time without having to stay logged in. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily cheating or not, but that's what I did. And I'll have to make a storage upgrade for that. Yeah, if I have that much cobble, I need to get rid of some because that's way too much dog on cobble. Way too much. I have some extra barrels there, okay. Yeah. I need to get rid of some. She already has 896 cobble. No wonder. Oh yeah, now that it has no some places but the cobble, it's clear. Alright, I'm going to have to um, start recycling this cobblestone. That's insane. Give me a lot of scrap, though. I mean, that can't be too bad, right? Okay, so what we're going to do... Oh, I also emptied out this area here for some expansion as needed. Because uh, I know I'm not done yet expanding. Uh, but what we want to do now is... Uh, I want to explore a world with you guys through Mistcraft, uh, but I also need to go check on my quarry and see what it's doing. Oh, and I want to go to the Twilight Forest, which is what we're going to do today, actually. So I'm going to go sleep. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to come over here and sleep. Let me sleep. Thank you. Now that we're sleeping, and all the uglies can die. And we gotta go kill the creeper. Oh yeah, go ahead and try to blow up. Yeah, not gonna happen. Alright, so this looks like it's doing alright. Let's check. I'm gonna have to make more hummus soon. Actually, I need to switch it from being a rubber tree farm now to just a regular tree farm with uh, the different saplings because I think I have plenty of resin. Resin. No, no, actually, I'm still needing some sticky resin. What I want to do for sticky resin, actually, instead of using a rubber tree farm, is I want to do a slime. I want to do get a level tier 5 slime shard. And then set up a kill my slimes. And then process the slimes in a uh, in a furnace to create sticky to create rubber. Or I can also I think process the slime through a centrifuge or something to get uh, sticky resin. No, an extractor. I think an extractor will get me sticky resin. So as you can see, I also expanded the road. Took it around the house. And then uh, take it over this way, over to the new portal. Oh, we better go charge the jetpack and grab some food. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Because we don't want to die. Oh, and I think I did my mag magmatic engines. Did I? No, I haven't done that yet. Um... What I've done here is I created some industrial centrifuges, and I've been working on getting silicon cells, so I can continue creating um, uh, solar panels. Uh, so this is what I've been doing. But what I need to do is give you guys some more juice. And what I want to do is I want to set up a pump in the Nether and pump lava into this. Uh, I don't have a lot in here yet. 
I was I had a magma crucible that I was crushing lava with, but or nether rack, but I decided that was gonna take too long. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a um a liquid transposer set up. And in the nether I want to do a liquid transposer hooked up to a pump and have the pump send the uh, the liquid into cans, have the cans go into a chest and have the chests and the cans here and then have it basically reverse the process put the cans from the li liquid transpose the cans into the lava and then I want to use the lava here to power me some magmatic engines to uh, not ma but geothermal engines uh, geothermal generators, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I want to use some geothermal generators in an array to power the centrifuges so they can run non-stop and give me more silicone and whatever else I need. And so that's what I'm going to be doing next. They've been running off of this, but this is barely able to keep up. Yeah, so what I want to do is set up a an array of like nine uh, geothermal generators running off of that lava pit over there right here and if I do it right then it should be pretty much infinite as long as I find a big enough uh, lava lake in the nether to put the pump into because a pump doesn't take much to build I think, um, yeah, iron, yeah, I can make the pump already easily. Um, the, the geothermal generator. Um, yeah, I can already make those too. So we can make, easily make the geothermal generators, the pump, um, I need a magma crucible. No, I don't. I would need a uh, liquid transposer. That's what it is. Liquid. Liquid transposer. And I have everything I need to make that too. So. Uh, what I want to do here in the next short while is make that, but I don't want to go to the nether without my salamander eye because it's dangerous. And no, my luck, those guys are still going to be pissed at me. Oh, wait, did I leave it here? Yes. All right, you need to stay with me. Uh, night vision won't help me. I need a fire resistance potion going to the nether. But the salamander I will help until I get a fire. Oh, why I'm over here. Let's see. Can you. And you. Let's go back this way. So, yeah, that's kind of... All right, so now, electric furnace, cook the carrots. I need to put, oh wait, do I have a project table over here? I don't, I need to put some project tables over that way. All right, wheat. And more wheat. And more wheat. Alright, so where'd my bread go? There it is. And... Let's see. Next we're going to need... I'm going to go to the Twilight Forest. So that's what we're going to do first. Seriously? I thought you can cook carrots. Or do you just eat the carrots? Ah, oh, never mind. I think you just eat carrots. I'm retarded. Yeah, I should have cooked them like instantly if you could do that. So, you just eat the carrots, which is fine. 
Um, I don't need bricks on me right now. And so we'll put the bricks. Um, leave the bricks over here. And you, and I don't need you. In their pouch, backpack, linky book, arrows, swords. I also want to make myself a nano suit. Let's see what that takes first, real quick. Nano. I don't need the boots. I like my no. I like my long fall boots, but I need the pants and probably the helmet. So energy crystal. Uh, carbon plates. Pretty sure that's the same stuff that's used in my solar panels. Yep. Carbon plates. I don't want to use those. Hmm. But a nano suit would be awesome. At least the leggings. Six carbon plates and a single energy crystal. Uh, at least maybe we'll do the leggings and we'll keep the solar helmet for now. But we're going to go to the Twilight Forest now. Oh yeah, I've also walled off a lot of this area and expanded. Um, the wall a little bit to give us more room. I'll probably end up taking the wall instead of cutting there. I'll probably uh, I'm probably going to go right along to the edge of the reeds. Uh, but over here, I decided I wanted to do like a little side island thing. Oh wait, did I create the portal yet? No, I need a diamond. Need a diamond. Alright, now we can go to the Twilight Forest. Let's see. Oh, there goes my phone. Boom! I got struck by lightning. Well, we have a toilet portal. And you guys can check it out. I did this cool little thing for the portal. Just to, you know, so it's not just some random hole in the ground. I made it look kind of nice. But, yeah, let's go. Twilight Arrival. Yeah. Downloading terrain. Come on. The server's running on a Core i7 dedicated machine on my network. It should be really fast. Really fast. Hmm. Oh, but I've never been there before, so it's having to generate everything and stuff, so this will take it a minute. Well, I guess while we wait for this, I will go ahead and uh, instead of making a stare at the screen list to me, I'll be back with you guys as soon as it loads. Be right back. And we're back. And it looks like it loaded. So, um, let's go ahead and just fly up to like the tops of the trees here and see see what's going on. All right, and we've got a big tree over there. Let's see. Wonder maybe we can find a creeper spawner out here and uh, get ourselves a creeper shard going so we can get some TNT. Oh hey, what's that over there? Uh, you know what I want to build is a portal gun, so I can take some of these guys home with me. You know, I can make that already.
You know, maybe we should go back and make myself a portal gun. Oh, wait. I can't make that yet. I don't have a nether star. Gosh dang it. I need a nether star. As soon as you have to go explore the nether. Or... I want to go see what this is. It's the ram. It's awesome. Hi, dude. Will you kill me if I accidentally hit you or will you run away in fear? Wait. What's this? Wool. If I remember right, whatever wool he eats, he gets a stripe on him. So I don't want him to eat this wool. That's ugly wool. Brown. Lame. He's like, feed me! You hungry, buddy? Yeah, I didn't think so. He's like, stop teasing me. Alright. Well, this is cool. I'm gonna have to, like, take this down and bring it back with me. Eventually. It is cool looking. I will bring you home. Make you part of the family, buddy. That's right. You won't be alone anymore. Okay, enough of that. All the pretty trees. I like the trees. Oh wait, you know what I need to do? Not that one. Actually, one of these doesn't go back to my quarry, and one of them does. Does it disappear? If it was back in my quarry, this would disappear, so we're alright. I need to find a hedge maze as well, um, because I want to use the hedge maze to damage my slimes when I make a slime farm. Lapis? What is you for? Ah, uh, there's houses. I bet those are the ones with the spawners and the skeletons that try to kill you. Pumpkins? Cool. Let's see what else we got. I also want to find one of those big giant upside down tower things. Well, they're not upside down, they just look that way to me. Uh, but I want to find one of the tower things and explore it. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Oh, you know what I should do before I run off and can't find my way back? I should come over here and make a... I have my linking book, but... It'd be nice to have the portal coordinates. Where'd my portal go? See, I've already lost it. Alright, there's our friend. I'm pretty sure we came from over this way. Looking for the portal. Man, I'm running out of juice in my jetpack before I know it. Let's see where I'm at. Alright, I'm alright. What happened to you, dude? Do you want to be free? I don't think I can help you. Because the fall is going to kill you, buddy. And I don't have a portal gun yet to save you. Because I don't have a, a nether star. Or, ooh, cave. Awesome. Not what I want. Uh, okay. There's our friend. 
we came from this way. Ah, here we go. Okay, this way. Over yonder. Ah, there it is. All right, so we're going to go with this and assume. Twilight portal. And done. There we go. Now I won't get completely lost and not know how to get back to the portal if I need to. I do have my linking book, which will take me right back home, which is kind of nice, but just in case. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Oh, hey. What is this? Oh, it's one of those things. With the Meefs. I'm not ready to go on one of those things yet. I need better armor. I've watched those Minotaur things knock people around before, and they're not pretty. It looks painful. I really don't want to like go somewhere and die before I've had a chance to explore more. Yeah, I should come out here and make myself a quarry. Oh, look, another one. Unless this links up to the same one. Maybe that links up to the same one. Oh, oh wait. Oh, look at the little boars. They're so cute. Yeah, there's a spawner in there. I can see it right there. Awesome. But I can float, suckers. I can get away from anything that might spawn. I don't like these drawing spawners, so I'll leave it for now. Oh, hey, look, mushroom trees. Awesome. I guess if I was really hungry, I could get myself some mushrooms. That's pretty cool. All right, we should give the terrain a chance to load. Load terrain, load. Man, those are some wicked tall trees. I think I might come here and make myself a tree house. That would be that'd be really cool. All right, disable hover mode. Yeah, you can make yourself a killer tree house up here. Man, that thing is cool. That or I could like take this tree back to. I can't hear you. Um, let's try music. What is that? Ah, cicada, huh? Interesting. Ah, we're going into nothing. Man, Twilight Forest is huge. And I think it's all randomly generated, so even if I keep exploring, I'll never get to the end of it. I just keep auto-generating terrain. Which is awesome in itself. I think there's a Naga, there's a Hydra to kill. Uh, there's even like awesome areas to mine that are like, that are full of the, uh, they're just full of minerals and ores. I still might have to chop down one of these giant trees, take it back to the overworld, and turn it into a, uh, 
a treehouse there. Or I can make it into a treehouse here and do my thumb crafting here. That might be kind of cool. That way I can keep the uh, thumb craft from affecting me in the overworld. I wonder if that would work. It is a thought. Oh, found one! This is what I want to explore. But I don't think I can get into it without um, mining laser. I don't think my pickaxe will take and get me in. Well, we can go find out. Wait, maybe I can get in. Or maybe not. It doesn't look like those will let me into the main area. But this also doesn't look like one of the ones with the indestructible brick. Yeah, I can get into these. Sweetness! So what I need to do is mark the location of this one. And of course I didn't bring me bring myself any extra books. Hmm. I wonder. Do they have any reeds in here? Or sugar can I mean? I don't think I've seen sugar cane. Alright, so then what we'll do is we'll F3 and we'll take a picture and we'll F3 it again. And then what we'll do is we'll... This will be an episode all by itself. We're going to explore this. Because that's just freaking awesome. I want to make the nano suit leggings first though, so we have a little more armor. And maybe make myself a nano saver so I can do more damage. And I want a better jetpack too. But we found one of those. Those are awesome. I'd love to like live in one of those in the overworld. That would be cool. But building that thing would take forever. All the different spires and little rooms and stuff. It would be pretty cool though. To me, it's like an upside-down castle because of how it's designed, but it's really cool looking. I think I might build something similar to that in the overworld eventually. I could use a filler to make these big giant square sections. So it wouldn't be as near as difficult as it would have been in like a vanilla server. And then the fine work I can do with the jetpack and some bricks. Now, it might be pretty easy to build that in the uh, in the overworld, actually, come to think of it. Maybe. Or something similar, at least. But I think what we're going to do is go back. Because I want to do some miscraft. I want to explore a new world. And to do that, we have to do... Um, book. We need to make ourselves a descriptive book. And of course it doesn't tell me how to do that. And I can't remember. How to make a descriptive book. Well, I know I need some ink in there. They've changed the interface so much on this that it's kind of hard to to do it, but I will figure it out one way or the other.
Well, I did create one age, but it was kind of messed up. I don't know. I've been to this one. All right. Well, we'll try out the script of age three. Actually, no. I did create. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I created my age area underneath here. So anytime I find a new book, I have I created this area to put them. At least the successful ones. The unsuccessful ages, I'm just going to get rid of and destroy. But the successful ones, I'm going to put down here. So let's check out age three here. Oh wow. Scariness. Mining fatigue three. E. Oh you know, I need more torches. And I think I want to build a quarry here. What level are we at? It's 32. So what if we were to like go up higher and then build ourselves a quarry? Okay, I see a ton of ores and stuff here. I think that would be awesome. And see, then a quarry won't be affected by mining fatigue. Like we currently are. This might be a pretty good, uh, pretty good one to do. Now my question is, how do we get... If we come down here... How do we get pages from these books? So let's take this one. How do we get the pages out of it? I'm going to have to do a little more research on the miscraft. Um, I haven't really messed with it a lot, and I still want to get into Thomcraft too. I'm not quite sure exactly how it all works still, because I do have these pages, and I have two books now, the two dis descriptive ages. So I need to figure out how it all works. Yeah, because I'm not sure how it all works yet. Interesting. I need more torches, though. Let's see. Is my quarry finished? Oh, good. There's all my stuff I dropped off. I think the core is actually done because I don't see anything coming into it. Yeah, so we're going to have to remove the core anyways. I think it was over there. Or did I have one out that way? Oh wait, I think I had one over the basalt out there and I finally leveled it out. And I need to move it. So that's something I'll do off camera. Though. You guys don't need to see me move a quarry. But I do think I have a torch bin. Yes. And put those in there and take out a stack. Perfect. All right, you guys. So I'm going to move the quarry and I'm going to get the stuff together because I want to make the I want to make the uh, the jetpack today the advanced electric jetpack. So I gotta make myself an advanced lap pack, which that's not hard to do. Actually I think I have 
the stuff for the geothermal engine and stuff I've already made. Um, but I'm not going to do the magma crucibles. I've decided I'm going to do a different setup, which has been more effective uh, in my test world. And that's just to move the lava and then use the lava itself directly instead of using a magma crucible. And yeah, it's just it's a lot easier if I just do it this way. But I want to make the advanced circuits, and I want to make some some plans for them so it's easier to make them in the future. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff together, and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, and we're back, you guys. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half, but ta-da! I went ahead and made myself the leggings as well as the jetpack, and I went ahead and charged them. Next thing I need to do is the helmet because this thing's just funny looking. I'll keep it around with me, but I want to make myself a decent helmet. Um, I have 37 levels. Maybe we should go enchant. I often enchant the book first. All right, give me a minute here, and I'm gonna get a book re ready, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, you guys. Um, I managed to get myself a protection three book, and I saved myself enough levels to go ahead and put it on there. So, whoop! We have at least protection three legs. I'll have to enchant the jetpack next, because I know you can enchant those with books. Um, but I need some more levels because I have two. Uh, well, right here we should sleep. Give me a minute here. All right, now let's go and I'll show you guys the. Um, so what I did the other day, and I forgot about it till I was looking for my quarry, is I put together this. Oh. There we go. I made a quarry underground in here because what I want to do is make a uh, an underground area where I can do like thumbcraft and stuff. So as you can see, I have this area here. Oh, there we go, night vision potion. I'll have to go make me another one of those. But it's working over there in the corner. Um, to get rid of the final bit and then I'll probably have to drain the water Either use a filler or a pump and get rid of the water, but um, Yeah, I'm finishing up this area And then I'm going to turn that into a multi-level underground area where I can do like thawmcraft or something I'm not necessarily thawmcraft, but um, I might move my storage over there So I have a little more room than in the top of that building over there um, and then I, my last bit that I'm going to show you guys today before we call it good is this over here. I went ahead and moved my quarry uh, that was underground before over here. So this is the new quarry. So I'm expecting it to be pretty effective. Um, it'll give me the... Uh, it'll give me a bunch of uh, basalt that I like to use. Uh, so that'll be kind of nice. And what I did is hopefully... Oh, it's not there anymore. I wonder if it destroyed it. I put a block of water here in the top of this, but it looks like it got rid of it. You shouldn't kill the block of water. Well, let's hope that it stays this time. Because um, I'm using the water in case of lava. Uh, once I start getting down beneath the first level or two, um, and it starts actually digging a hole, I'll probably put lava in the corner or water in the corners. 
uh, just in case of lava or whatnot. And once this is actually completely finished excavating, I'll come over here with the filler. And like the first three levels I'll fill with uh, dirt or cobble or something. I'll do cobble and then I'll put a layer of dirt on the top. Uh, but yeah, that's the new quarry. Um, and then I'm going to be moving the nether portal. I'm actually going to take it from there. And we're going to expand our walls a bit. I want to move the walls along the edge. Hey, look. And... Uh, that's where I dug one night because I was uh, hiding. I was making a temporary hole while I was eating so that I wouldn't die. Uh, but I still need to do something with this. I blew it up, but I still need to uh, turn it into a farm. What I want to do is, like right here in this area, I want to put the nether portal over here and build a kind of a little fort structure like I did there, but build it for the nether portal. So it has a place of its own. Um, I think that would look pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so what I want to do eventually is probably move the storage into the mountain and have like a mountain vault type thing. And I want to do uh, a piston door that uses a player detector and looks for me specifically uh, to get into it. Just, you know, just for fun. Uh, but yeah, you guys. So today, leggings, jetpack. Um, next thing I want to do is uh, I want to make myself the helmet next. Nano. That's going to take some more carbon. Um, carbon plate. Yeah, that's not too bad. The only thing that's gonna, I need is the, the energy crystal and the glass. But the energy crystal I can make with this. Um, this, and some redstone, gives me the energy crystal, where's my coal, coal, I know I have some, and coal, I'm pretty sure, let's see, yeah, four coal, gives me the raw carbon, I need two per, so I need I need 10 of those. Yeah, 10. Right? Wasn't that what I just said to do? Oh, unless I have to use, but I think I can just use this. No. Do I need a crafting bench? I just made some. Why you don't like me?
Oh, duh. I'm thinking coal. First thing in mass rate to coal. I'm like, I know this worked. I just did it. I forget that I have to master it to coal first and then turn it into the fiber. Um, yeah, it's a process. Let's see. Four of these. I need 10 of these. They gave me 5. 19, 20. All right. Um, where'd the other ones I just had go? Oh, yeah. Let's see, because I need... Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's right. I'm pretty sure. Because I need go into the compressor, and we get five carbon fibers, and I think I have glass up here. Glass, so crystal, carbon fibers. Wait, actually, I think I only need four of those. Yep, I only need four. Sweetness. Now we need to go charge it, though. Woo! Yeah, so, it's just time-consuming to do all of it, as long as you don't forget that you need certain things. Um, but, hey, we got it. All right, and put that in there. Move that charge real fast. All right, yeah, we got quite a bit done today, you guys. I got the jetpack, leggings. I'll have a new helm soon. I just gotta get some enchants put on it. Uh, but once I get all the enchants done and stuff on it, that'll be awesome. I think our next episode, we're going to go explore the Twilight Forest, that fortress thing. Hopefully by then I'll have set up my, um... Oh, that looks cool. I have no head. Whoa. Oh, I have a little bit better armor now. I might have to do the nano boots. No, I like my long fall boots. I take, like, no fall damage. Yeah, it's a toss-up. Definitely is a toss-up. I look awesome now. Dun dun dun! My glow. Yo yo yo! But anyways, you guys, uh, I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Uh, we got all that stuff done. And it turned out it works pretty well. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I uh, we got a lot done today, so it turned out really good. Um, I'm excited. We're gonna go to the Twilight Fort Forest next and go take on that fortress thing. I'm um, gonna move the Nether portal. And I'm going to start moving the, uh, I'm going to start making the vault in the mountain. But what I'm going to do actually is make uh, some staircases that go down deep to the lower levels. And I'll build the vault down in the lower levels, but I'll make like multiple doors you have to pass through. And if you don't, if you're not, uh, if the player sensor doesn't recognize you, 
uh, have it do something. Like open a pit in the floor or crush you or I don't know, something fun. I'll figure it out. Or maybe I'll have make it make turtles attack you or something. That'd be kinda cool. But and then I'm also gonna do some miscraft research. Cause I would like to do more with the miscraft. I'm just not sure how to get the stuff I need out of it yet. But yeah, anyways you guys. Um as always, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun today with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. As always, um, you guys are the best. I appreciate all my subscribers, and I will chat with you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Peace.